Hey everybody, we're here with Rob Deere, former Major League Baseball player and former Major League hitting coach for the Chicago Cubs. Rob, uh, you have back gear here for us. Um, just to just explain a little bit what back gear is and, and how did you come up with this? <clears throat> Hi, Kenny. Um, thanks for having me on today. You know, back gear was designed through just all my experiences of a player, a coach, now, with all my hitting lessons and baseball camps that we do, um, I wanted to create something to make it, make players understand or have something that would help us stay connected with our hands to do something that's easier without having to think about it. <clears throat> and that's staying through the ball. We find that all good hitters whether it be little league, high school, college, major league players, all good hitters understand the concept of staying through the ball. And that's what that year does. Totally. So how did you get this idea and, and what, what planted that seed to create that year? <clears throat> it was funny how it started. Um, I have a, I ride a motocross bike still to this day and <clears throat> what we did, what I did was I ordered these, it's called um, handlebar donuts, and they go on the handlebars, and what they did was, they, all of a sudden they gave me this feeling of more control on the motorcycle, and from that, long story short, I started, I, I brought those down to the Hit Factory where I give lessons here in Scottsdale, and I, I just something clicked, and I wanted to use those, whether it be through um, vibration <clears throat> or something that I could use those for and incorporate it to baseball and to hitting. And that's what we came up with it. Since then, now it's, it's um, I've had several do doctors tell me that bat gear is, is, is created through kinesthetic energy, meaning it causes you or allows you to be able to stay through the ball better without us having to think about it. And, and to be able to do something or create a type of swing that we automatically stay through the ball without having to worry about it or think about it is, I felt at the time was a huge factor for young players especially. So Rob, tell us a little bit about some of the main points as far as what back gear can benefit the hitter or the instructor as well, giving to their hitter? Well, as far as <clears throat> why we created this, or why I started this whole thing a year and a half ago, was for the sole purpose of being able to teach or create a, a better swing, shorter mechanics, shorter swing, and being able to stay through the ball. Um, we've also found that because of the, the, the rubber compound of what it is, we also found that it, 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 it adds as like a shock absorber for balls that we miss hit maybe on the end or balls that we get jammed in the barrel. And number three, we like because it, it, it cuts down a lot of, of friction that happens in between our hands. And I have a lot of players that, um, especially young players that don't use batting gloves or maybe use one batting glove, when their hands start doing this, they don't realize it, they always, you know, they'll start getting blisters. Um, so back gear will help with that, three things. It, it keeps you connected to stay through it. It keeps the vibration down for balls that are mishit. And it, and it reduces the friction that causes blisters. All right, Rob, so you've explained a lot about what back gear is, how it originated and, and how that popped into your mind. Um, so what can you do as far as showing us how back gear can be used and, and incorporated from whether that's T work or even soft toss? How, how would you say one can incorporate that? <clears throat> We're gonna go back in the back right now and uh, I'll go over some things. And you can use this, you can use this in practice. You can use it at home, hitting off of a T. And, you, and I have players from all over Arizona that use these in the games. So we'll go back in the back and I'll show you. 
So Rob, before we get into demonstrating a little bit how back gear works, how is someone able to get their hands on back gear? Danny, um, go into the website. It's backgear.com. You'll receive this and you'll see that there's a QR code up on the top left corner and that will show you, it'll get you to the website and get you all the information and show you what we have in store. <clears throat> on the back, it'll give you somewhat of a demonstration and it'll talk about our, our two special indoor seas, Hall of Famer Robin Yount and 20 plus year major league hitting coach Dave Magadan, who have both been a big integral part of bad gear. All right, Rob, so before we get going on swinging with back gear on can you spend a, a few minutes just explaining what back gear is made out of and composed of as well as how we get started with it sure <clears throat> back gear is made out of back gear is made in chicago and packaged in wisconsin it's made out of natural rubber and it's called 30 duro natural rubber it took us probably 50 different bat gears to test before we came up with the right compound. <clears throat> now everything on this is patented and you can see that it's soft and durable and you can use these forever. I mean, I've, I've, <laughs> I've tried to rip them. You can't rip them. They're so, they're, they're indestructible. But how we put them on, it's simple. Um, this is how I've become accustomed to it, but I just stick it on the bat push it down and then I want to slide it to where my hand grips the bat and feels natural <clears throat> and then one of the big things that I like to, to show players especially if they're getting ready to get started is once you put your hand on the bat your left hand or if you're a left hand a hitter your right hand first get that feeling of sliding your head to hand down and feel the connection before you get started. Once that connection is, is there and you feel it, forget about it. Now get in your stance and hit. So now that Rob did a good job explaining what back gear is, the, the purpose of how it helps a hitter stay short to and long through, he's gonna do a, a quick demonstration of how to hit each ball on either side of the plate, outside, middle, and inside. So Rob, uh, explain to us and show us a little bit how those swings look with back gear on our bat. Okay, <clears throat> and, and here's the key. Once your bat gear gets put on your bat, you forget about it. And that's the, that's the key. It's like, I like keeping things as simple as possible. And this is not something that you have to think about. I get my hands in a position, remember we talked about come down, stay connected. Now my hands are where they want to be in my stance, ball is in the middle, so I'm going to hit this ball, I'm going to stay short to it, there's the contact point. After I hit it, my hands are going to stay through the middle, okay, ball inside, same thing. I'm not going to get out around it and try to cheat because my swing is going to get long. I'm going to stay short. I'm going to get connected. From there, I'm going to hit it and I'm going to stay through the ball and I'm going to think I'm going to hit this ball right off the shortstop's baseball cap. Now, two strikes. I'm not going to panic with two strikes. I'm going to be a good two-strike hitter. <clears throat> Simply let the ball get deep. I'm not going to get here, which in my career, I could feel myself do this when I did try to go to right field. I'd feel my hands break connection. There's a long swing. <clears throat> ball away. Let the ball get deep. I'm going to let it travel. Hit it. I bat stays through the zone there's no there's no disconnect with my hands from here connected through all right rob so you've done a good job at explaining 
how back gear can help the hitter stay through the ball no matter where it is on the plate whether that's outside middle or inside now how does back gear also help the hitter continue to stay short to the ball and long through the zone <clears throat> well it's good that you say that because if you look down here a lot of times i'll use this illustration to hit this ball first and this ball is located in the middle but hit this ball and i want to see you hit all three balls together so <clears throat> what bat gear is going to do it's going to keep us connected instead of the the, the middle the, the fastball right down the middle 2-0 pitch or a 1-0 or 3-1 and all of a sudden we get there and the disconnect happens and then there's the rollover or the ball that's away from us that we want to try to hit and instead of staying short which means I always use the illustration of a string from my hand to my shoulder I don't want to break that connection come under or cast around so Let's say the ball's away from us, we have two strikes. So many times <clears throat> we get here, we let the ball get deep and the disconnect happens where our hands turn over and there goes the barrel. With that gear, it shows how it keeps us connected to be able to hit that ball to right field and stay through the ball. All right, Rob, so you've done a good job explaining a little bit of the approach as far as staying through the middle of the field, staying connected with back gear. What does it look like now that back gear is on a bat and we have a ball on a tee and we start incorporating our swing with it on? Well, <clears throat> this is what I teach and this is what I talk about. The ball that's down the middle, this ball should be a line drive over the second base bag. <clears throat> the ball that's inside, that ball should be a line drive right off the shortstop's forehead. Ball that's away from us, that ball's gonna be a line drive right off the second baseman's forehead. So what we're trying to do is we are trying to stay to the middle and the count will, will dictate what we're doing. With two strikes, we have to let the ball get deeper to be able to, to cover the ball that's away. So <clears throat> I like the feeling I have my hands are connected and ball that's in the middle I'm gonna hit it and after I hit it I'm gonna stay through you see how my hands stay through the middle they don't hit the ball and come off and roll over that gear that's the, that's the great thing about it is it allows you to stay connected and and don't get that 2-0 pitch down the middle where we roll over and hit an 18 off or short or a ball that's away from us with two strikes and we're able to stay connected with our hands and be able to drive that ball to right center. All right, Rob, so you've done a good job at explaining what back gear is, how it's made, how it can be used. Now, what can you do as far as demonstrating what it looks like with back gear on the bat and how it can be incorporated with an everyday hitter, whether that's hitting a ball off a tee? Danny, first off, I want to kind of explain, um, as a hitting coach or hitting instructor, um, I try to, I think I teach subconsciously things that I couldn't do, and I think that I spend a lot of time, I, I, I try to um, let players understand the concept of what it means to stay through the ball. <clears throat> I was a dead pool hitter. Uh, not a high average hitter, but and, and my bat came into the zone and came out of the zone. So it made me susceptible to pitches away and it made me, you know, try to get out and hook them or whatever it is. But I teach, everything I teach is, is middle is imperative, meaning every, my approach is to the middle. and. <clears throat> When, when we stay through the ball, or what we're trying to do is we're trying to have our bat stay. This ball, it, it indicates away, middle, and inside. Whenever we get in trouble, our bat will come in the zone and come out. Whenever we're going good, or when we ever, whenever we're using bat gear, this creates that connection. So 
We want to keep our bat in the zone as long as possible so our bat stays through the zone or through the middle. All right, Rob, so as we wrap up our final talks and discussion of bat gear, what would be some of your final comments to those who are listening and future buyers of bat gear? <clears throat> Danny, I, what I would say in closing is that bat gear is designed to keep everything simple. I'm a big advocate of doing that. I have major league players, minor league players, college, high school. I have some of the best girls softball players. They're all using bad gear and they're seeing results. Keep things simple, get connected.